Hi guys, you're welcome back to Web Technologies. We'll be talking about view and route in Laravel. I understand this can be overwhelming when you see uh, the source file of a Laravel application, the structure where we have the app, bootstrap, config, database, public, resources, route, storage, test, vendor. You know, this can be exceedingly overwhelming most especially if this is your first framework or you don't have to learn all of the packages at once you just have to pick them one after the other learn the basics and uh, as you get to build more complex projects you can learn other functionalities uh, like when you start to talk about uh, exceptions providers uh, console you know you can actually uh, move from uh, one level to the other you don't actually need to know everything you're seeing right there, but you just need to start up with the basics and uh, get yourself moving gradually to an advanced uh, level. For us to move further in this particular uh, lesson, we'll be talking about view and route. For us to get the route, we have a route uh, package which is right sitting over here, the route folder. You need to expand this where we have the API PHP, the channels.php, console, and the web.php. So I'm going to click on the web.php to get our route. So this is where you fix all routes that you use in the application. Basically, this is the first uh, program you're seeing right here is just telling that you should get the the view when you when you get that's when the browser uh, goes to the home page it's going to return the view which is welcome definitely there is a welcome.blade.php you know just to make it short you just type in welcome so it's actually going to route to return a view called welcome so that's the essence of that now that takes us down to what's what's a view view is what the end user will see which is just like the ui you know well, wow, the view contains HTML, PHP, JavaScript, CSS, you know, these are all UI functionality that actually is going to uh, display uh, the, the web page to the browser. Now, we, the view is actually placed in the resources, get it here, where you have views, can you see there, the first view we have here is called welcome.blade.php you can see when it's routes when the route gets the home page which is the forward slash the function is going to return a view called welcome.blade.php so that's just how it is now uh, we're going to are you going to get this uh, shown in your browser in your browser that is actually attached directly to um, to PHP or to uh, Laravel which is like a default browser of your of your machine now I'm going to show you this and how to launch uh, my page to the Mozilla Firefox for you to do that you move back to the terminal where you're going to actually uh, change directory to the project so we're going to first of all change directory to the new project Afterwards, we are going to issue out a command called PHP Artisan. What do you get to see? This command is used to build up Laravel source. You know where we get to talk about uh, the listener, the mail, the middleware, migration, model, notification, policy, provider, you know, even job, event, listener. It's a full bumper package you know you have to issue out the PHP artisan before you can actually get uh, some other functionality running on the view of Laravel now for us to now launch this probably launch the welcome page on our browser you need to type in PHP artisan serve Laravel development server started 
now it's going to be started at the IP 127.0.0.1 column 8000 so for you to actually get this showed in the browser you have to open it with a browser uh, that's open the link so it's actually going to trigger the browser can you see uh, it's actually showed up so it's uh it's a uh, it's a welcome page which is fine and uh, it's working so this is the welcome page of the welcome the blade of php but let's quickly get to see what's actually in this page let's see the source in the nutshell so i move back to brackets and we try to open the source of this particular welcome page you can see it's just the html tags uh with uh, some inline style sheets and uh probably some php you know some Laravel php codes which is actually routing to login and some other things we got to talk about that as time goes on so don't rush and just uh, keep tag we'll get to talk more about other functionalities right there but this is just a simple web page in Laravel afterwards I would like to modify some things in the route back to the route you can actually key in a string let's just key in a string here take out the view I probably will say you're learning Laravel learning Laravel save that go back to Mozilla and refresh just refresh can you see that learning Laravel it has actually override uh, the view so that's just some little way to just add code and uh, get some uh, things working but let's go back in a real life scenario you won't be at coding a string so let's undo and let's get back to the view so let's create our own route there's the default route we made right in the source so let's quickly create our route go over here route get now we're going to create service services that means there's a services page to call on the function what are we going to return here I'm sorry it's actually going to be before the parenthesis so parenthesis covers it up I'm locking in now we're going to return some stuff let's return services page So for you to launch this, you save. For you, to, for you to launch this, you go back to the browser. Now you're going to give a slash, a forward slash, services. Can you get to see this? It returns the services page. So you can see how we're linking uh, to other pages right in Laravel. But you won't be doing this. You won't be coding uh, a string. So you have to actually launch this page with a view. So let's quickly go over that. So let's create a view. We're going to create a view right here. So let's create a new view. A new file. Uh, and let's save it. So it's going actually going to sit in the resources view. Let's call it services dot blade dot php. Save that. We have it uh, very fresh. Now uh, we're going to copy out 
what we have right in the welcomes page the services page but we just do little modification so that you're going to actually see uh, what's actually happening now right in the content just just let us create a h2 tag let's call it services page save that and come back to the route let's go back to the route web.php now we have it over here so it's fine now we're going to change this to a view so it's not going to be a coded string so you're going to write view services save that let's go back to mozilla now we refresh can you see the h2 tag services page so that shows that we're actually working uh in this we actually worked on the service the services are uh, far so back to brackets still have the services blade right there but for a power venture if you have a nested uh, link how are you going to go about that probably you have let's go back to the route probably you have um, the domain forward slash um, assets or forward slash let's say uh, pages uh, forward slash services something of this nature probably you have something like this uh, pages let's get to save pages services so the services are uh, blade PHP is sitting right in the pages sub directory so what you're going to do is so much easy right in the views you're going to create a new folder and you call it uh, pages lock that in now in this pages uh, you're going to copy in the the services file it needs it needs it actually needs a refresh but that's fine we can actually do that uh, manually going to the directory of where uh, the file sits it's resources it sits uh, in the views so now we have the pages folder we can easily in the pages folder you can see so we need to actually log in the services blade the php into the pages folder that's cool so we'll move back to brackets so what right there in brackets for us to actually make this work take this out you just type in pages dot services with this it's still going to launch the page so let's save this up go back to your browser refresh we still have it right there the services page you know that shows that we are right in the services page so let's go back to the router now look at it you can as well use the for slash but just to make it uh op like object oriented programming it's better this way so you save it up so from this you should be able to create your own view and you should also be able to create your own route and you should know how to navigate between pages uh, right in laravel stick by don't go anywhere we still have another bumper package coming right there Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.